least, I know at least 20 places I can buy crack in Dallas. I, uh... Then I went to, well, I walked from Harry Hines to Lover's Lane to go work for my dad to try to make some money. I was, I was hoping he'd let me come over this weekend or something so I could be with my family. But my, my stepmother's got this bitterness against me because I've messed up so many times and my dad keeps helping me and I keep messing up. So I worked for him for a couple hours. I couldn't even go to the store. I smelled number one because I've been out here for three or four days and I haven't changed my clothes because I, I don't know, I just didn't care. And he let me work for him and I worked. You know, I really worked and I made some money and I was gonna do the right thing and then I just folded. I just, I don't know, it's like every time I got money, I just don't know what else to do with it. Like, I don't have any other options. Nothing else makes sense because, I mean, I can get food, I can get shelter. I mean, I know how to work the system to get the things I need. And then, I don't know, I just, I need to change inwardly. I need to change my desires. I have to want something else. I don't know why, why I have to keep going through this. I don't know what God's purpose is for this, but I just hope it's all worth it in the end. Um, I do good for a while, then I fall off. I mean, uh, this man right here helped me last night, and that's why I felt so bad when I ran into him again, because, you know, I messed up again. You know, after he helped me, after God helped me last night, God delivered me, gave me away, you know, and, and I, I turned my back on him again. And, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what the answer is to the problem, but I know that more people need to care, and if there is an answer, it's got to be God, because... I've been struggling with this addiction for seven years and it's eating me alive and it's tearing me up and I'm begging you to help us fight this because if you won't care then no one will. If the church won't help us then no one will. And I know so many people whose lives have been destroyed by drugs. And, and I'm just tired of it. We need Jesus out here.